Good day everyone. Today we will be discussing the unit circle and the 30, 60, 90 degree angles. So in our partition plane, let us locate the 30, 60, 90 angles. So we have here the 30, this will be our triangle. 60, this will be our triangle. Okay, next we have 90, um, 120, 150, 180 here. We have 210, 240, 300, and 330. So those are the angles that will form a 30, 60, 90 degree angles. So in our 30, 60, Degree, uh, 30, 60, 90 degree angles, the shortest side in our right triangle measures one half. So this is one half, and this length is one half. Now, if that is one half, let us rewrite our triangle. If this is one half, and our radius is equal to one, let us find what is the measure of the missing side of a right triangle. So let us use the Pythagorean theorem. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to, or the a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Our a here, the missing one, x plus our b is one half. Squared is equal to our c is one. So we have x squared is equal to uh, plus one square, one over two square, four is equal to one square, that is one. Next, we have x squared is equal to 1 minus 1 fourth. So x squared is equal to 1 minus 1 fourth, that is 3 over 4. Now get this square root. So we have x is equal to square root of 3 over square root of 4, that is 2. Okay, so we have now the value of x, square root of 3 over 2. That means, the length of this side is square root of 3 over 2. Now, to get the coordinate here for the 30, we have positive square root of 3 over 2, and for y, we have 1 half. And for 60, notice that our x has the shortest side, so that is 1 half. And for y, square root of 3 over 2. And now we have 120. Our x is quadrant 2, we have negative 1 half, then square root of 3 over 2. And for 150, we have negative negative square root of 3 over 2 and positive 1 half. For 210, x is negative square root of 3 over 2. Since this is located in quadrant 3, both are negative. To 40, we have negative 1 half, then negative square root of 3 over 2. And for 300, our x is 1 half, and y, negative square root of 3 over 2. And for 330, we have negative square root of 3 over 2, and 1 half. Okay. Oh, quadrant 4 is positive, negative. Now, how are we going to apply this? The 30, 60, 90, 
let's say you need to find sine 300 degrees. Take note, in our coordinate, x indicates our cosine, y indicates our sine, and tangent is y over x. Sine 300, so locate 300, x and y, sine is y, so that is negative square root of 3 over 2. Second, let's say we have cosine 120. Locate 120, 120, cosine, cosine is x, so x, we have negative 1 half. Let's say we have find tangent 150. So tangent is y over x. So locate 150, our y is 1 half all over x negative square root of 3 over 2 fraction in a fraction so copy the numerator which is 1 half times the reciprocal negative 2 over square root of 3 cancel cancel so we have negative 1 over square root of 3 again to simplify this there must be no square root in our denominator so we need to conjugate square root of 3, square root of 3. Now we have negative 1 times square root of 3. That is negative square root of 3 all over square root of 3 times square root of 3. That is square root of 9. To simplify, we have negative square root of 3 all over 3. Why 3? Because square root of 9 is 3. So we are done in the unit circle and the 30, 60, 90 degree angles. So it's a part 3. We have the quadrilateral angle, 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90 degree angles. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. Your assignment, you need to verify whether the following answers have the same or the same if you're going to insert in your calculator.